My hands are froze. Detroit. Detroit. 66. Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, 12 clear. No, that's actually, that's 11 to 1. But it's, I got it turned to the moon. Yeah, it pulls great. I had 80,000 pounds behind it last night and it pulled it like it was nothing. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I had a truck and trailer together behind it. Fully loaded. He was he grows he was grossed out at eighty thousand, and then I mean I pulled it down the interstate sixty seventy mile an hour, even in the snow. Just now when I got it, it was weak. Yeah. It was weak. Oh. What's up, guys? We're just out here doing some towing. Figured I'd give you guys an update real quick. Uh, we're actually in between some tows right now. We just did five back to back. We got her chained up today, boys. This truck in the last 24 hours has pretty much made enough money to pay for itself. Even with me doing some free towing. I haven't shut it off in 24 hours. It's not, it's literally ran. But well, guys, we're on ice today. This hill is super steep. Everybody keeps getting stuck at the bottom around this curve. And then I just keep yanking them up, just one after another. All right, looks like we got a salt truck coming finally. I've been waiting on them to shut this road down. Yeah, that's what I was saying. There's finally a salt truck. I wonder if he's got any salt or if he's just scraping. Be nice, dude. I am tired. I need a break. Guys, we towed to 3 o'clock this morning, 2.30 or 3, and then the ice got so bad we had to stop. The heat went out in the truck. So we got it home, pulled it in the garage, fixed the heat, and then got right back at it. Oh, dang. So... We're actually in between some towing right now. Just waiting on the next one. But this is ice. I mean, watch. He can't even do nothing with it. He can scrape it all he wants, but it ain't going to do nothing. Slick for us, boys. Job security. Job security coming through. As soon as this turns to water, it freezes over. I've seen this guy go by like a hundred times. There you go. Show us, son. See what that thing got. <laughs> Dude, I sent that other tow company because i felt bad over to uh that one that i had on at near mayfields i wonder if he got it out yeah there's a bunch of tow trucks over there sorry guys i had a call come in Well, it looks like they're making it now. We did it. We had like 10 trucks down here stuck at the bottom of the hill earlier. I just went 
get, go up, back, back down, get another one, go up, back, back down, get another one. But we had another company show up here. Like I was backing down the hill and this other tow truck shows up. And, um, thought he was going to get, you know, get in on the action. And so I told him, I said, man, we got this over here covered. But I did give him something to go do though. I told him you can go down the road and there's some two more that I can't go get right now. Like I want to be fair, but this is my honey hole right here today, boys. Is there anything down there at the bottom? No, no. That's all went down there. Ain't got nothing at the bottom. Are we clear? Yep, on that bottom we are. Man, about the time we go home and unchain. Yeah. What do y'all think? Uh, we gotta go. Think we are unchain it? You got some more? Man. Oh yeah, we'll be towing all night tonight, guys. Man, I'm scared to unchain the truck because about the time I do. By the time we unchain that thing, we're going to need <laughs> Yeah. How fast I can go with these things? I don't know, but it's pretty dry where we're headed to get to the next one. <clears throat> yeah. I'd take it. It don't take that long. Long well, enough to come to the shop and get a check? Yeah, I can do that. You know where it is? Uh, send me the address. I got okay, my number. If you turn left, if you turn left at this light, yeah. go to where it goes from four lane to two lane, yeah. it's that shop right there on the corner. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, the big shop. Man, I love that shop. <laughs> come <laughs> up now, we'll get you a check. I like it, though. All right. Now we get it. Okay. Uh, let's unchain at the store. At the store? Yeah, let's go up here to the store and unchain that way because this road's pretty nasty. All right, that works. Where's Brax at? I'm just looking for Brax. You got Brax? You gonna ride with me? Yeah. Truck. Alright. Yeah, go check out. Well, yeah, boys, we got a truck to tow. Another call just come in. Never mind. Huh? Never mind. You got one stuck? Yeah. You want me to go ahead and come down? All right. Should I back down the hill or? Okay. No. Oh. All right, we gotta go on another one. Guys, I'll, I'll definitely be making some videos out of all this stuff, but 
reason I've been doing lives lately is it's a lot easier than editing the video right now. I just ain't got time to edit at the moment. Gee, we ain't had a break in a week. Here you go, big dog. Brax is in the house. How are you doing a live? We're doing a live, baby. Check out the new hoodies, or new beanies, guys. GentryandSonsTrucking.com. Guys, I want to make something, something clear. Uh, yesterday in our live, there's a lot of people got upset and talking crap because I said that, uh, yeah, I thought it was funny. They said I need to go to tow school. And uh, we're actually going to go to a, a tow school. Not for, just to learn new things, the new equipment, new stuff like that. Kind of get, you know, caught back up. I've not towed in 10 years. But I've got towing experience. I've, I used to run medium duty wrecker, I've run a rotator, I've run a heavy wrecker, and I've also run rollbacks. I've run a lot of rollbacks and a lot of little tow trucks. I don't have a lot of recovery experience, like flipping trucks over and stuff like that. But I'm not out here just doing this without any kind of training at all. I wouldn't put us in, or safety in jeopardy like that. So this ain't like me, just went out and bought a tro tow truck, never towed today in my life and trying to do this job. It's not the situation. I'm gonna take the fuller out on it, but. I'm gonna take the fuller out on it. how bad the road is. Yeah. I had your phone here to get Let's see uh, what we got. How fast can we go with snow chains? See what they say in the comments. Um, right about 20 right now. They seem to be holding on pretty good. I guarantee you this is that truck that we told him. Just let us point to the top. We come here and try to turn around. Oh, yeah, no one? They say it's 25 or 35. 25 or 35. Okay, we're good. Or 45. It's saying 40 max. Where is this truck at? What is it? I don't know. It's supposed to be a truck under and stuff somewhere. Are you at a truck? There's a car in the ditch. Really in the ditch. Yeah, you know, the interstate? Yeah, I think it's across the interstate. Ah. What's that? My brakes have changed on them. E.
254. We got any audio back, guys? Sound back? Okay, good deal. Dang, God, we're going into some rough territory. There's supposed to be a truck back here stuck. Why is there a truck back here stuck? Ah, right, we're good. Ah, dang, this is rough stuff. See it? Oh, ho, 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 here we go, boys. We got us a stock one. I don't know where it's. I don't know which one it is. I mean, this is a trucking company here. I don't know what's going on here. I guess it never mind my volume was down. <laughs> Supposedly, we got a truck stuck somewhere down in here. That medium duty right there do a lot. I see a truck over there not moving, but the first truck I ever put a head on, the first Detroit I ever worked on ever in my life is that Maroon Classic right or yeah, Maroon FLD sitting over here. If it's that blue truck, he should pull he can pull that one out. I bet you this is gonna be a brake stuck situation. Now there's straps in front of it. You think his brakes are just stuck? Ooh, there's a Peterbilt. Think he just got stuck brakes? He's not stuck. They wants to haul the truck and the trailer back sure. to the service road. I'll be happy with whatever. No, it's not stuck. They just want to haul it back to the service right? I bet he jackknifed it. You the driver? You the driver? Is you? Yeah. You just want it hauled back to the road? Oh, I see. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, dang, that thing's 
Not good. Pipe's closed off. He jackknifed is what he's done. No, he jackknifed it. Oh. Yeah, um, whatever they think. Hey, the pipe's closed plumb off on it. The pipe's closed plumb off on it. The exhaust, go look at it. Dang, I forgot to take that thing off. Huh? I'll just throw it up there on the back just in case we gotta hook it back up. They just want to haul back to the service truck. What's up, buddy? Uh, Where's Brax? He's on the I couldn't understand him. I think what he's done is he came back here and jackknifed it. Why'd he go translate for us, buddy? I think he's going to the translator. If he's scared to drive out of this road, he don't want to go drive out on them other roads. No. Well, I'll tell you, it's rattled from the jack now, but... Yeah. Hey, winter's just starting, boys. That's yeah. the thing about it. I good. parked all mine. It's good. It's, I, good. it's good for uh, getting some Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I definitely need them to keep driving. <laughs> oh, dang. There's a boat trailer. I just seen that. I need that. I need a big old boat trailer. Oh, it's got house axles under it. Nah, eh, it ain't worth the crap. You guys, it's how much snow we got. We got like a foot. Big feet, boys. You know what to say about big feet? You gotta wear big socks. These are the kind of toes I like. I wonder if that thing's breathing. Hey, you know, you know who made that truck? Who? The one he made Frankenstein. <laughs> uh, guys, we're at like negative one today. We're in the negatives. It is cold. I ain't shut old blue off at all. I pulled it in the shop and shut it down for about an hour to fix the heat. And then um, it's been running ever since. 
It is chained up, so everybody knows it's chained. Tim knows how to throw some chains. I just wasn't throwing chains for that one tow yesterday. You can make this job pretty simple, guys. It don't have to be complicated. But boy, I tell you what, people lost their minds on that live. Happens too. So guys, I wasn't trying to be arrogant. I just wasn't also, I mean, guys, the way I learn is by just doing these things. You know, when I got the crane, that was, I don't know, I gotta show you guys this beanie too. When I got the crane, everybody said, you know, there's a lot of people on there said the same thing. You're gonna get somebody killed. You have no business operating that thing. Oh, dang, look at that stud. Um, Blah, 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 blah. And same thing with hauling the boat. Same thing with anything that I've done. The only way to learn this stuff is to do it. You got to just go for it. Go do it. Now, you got to keep safety, too. But um, not in no situation yesterday was I worried one little bit about safety. Everything. I didn't put the cable in a bind. Brax was behind the truck. He was way up out of the way. It would have got me way before him. So, I wasn't trying to be arrogant. I wasn't trying to make nobody upset or anything like that. But um, we will be going to tow school. Just, I want, Bra I want Bryce, I want Dad. I'm planning on taking the whole crew. Probably not all at one time, but... Um, Cause I'm getting ready to, there's a big truck coming. Like this, this truck here is gonna be, you know, a big part of the fleet, but like the towing is really getting ready to be pretty serious. I mean, there might be a, one of them swinging, one of them swinging tow trucks coming pretty soon. I, I know I don't need to explain myself, and it ain't about the haters. The only reason I'm explaining this one, guys, is because it wasn't just the haters. It was a lot of people that I, you know, I learned from the comments. I learned from other people. I learned from older people, and that's how I'm learning to do this better. The people that I used to tow for, I've worked for James Towing. I've worked for Alan Purdy. Actually, this truck right here, um, Purdy's. I worked for him for, I ran tow trucks for him for a couple years. Um, James Towing, I worked for them for a while. Uh, there's another tow company that I worked for. I ran a heavy wrecker as soon as I got my CDL. The first six months I had my CDL, I ran a, uh, a heavy wrecker and a rotator a little bit. I never get, got to do any recoveries by myself, but I did get some experience. Not gonna say I'm a pro, not gonna say that I'm better than anybody or anything like that, but uh, I've got a lot to learn, a lot to get, you know, get brushed up on and all that, but I am gonna give it my best shot. Hey guys, we're at 2,000 people in here already. That is amazing. Let's get the likes up. Let's get up to like 1,500 likes. So I think the situation with this is going to be, I think we're going to tow that truck out of here and get it back to the road. I would just drive it for him, but. So, oh, I didn't even see you in there. No, it's a brand new ride, boy. Same color as mine. My tractor ran over mine and had to put a flatbed on it. As soon as I bought it. Didn't have it, just a little bit. It was. Well, at that time, you couldn't get a bed. It was on back order and all that. So, what, he's just wanting us to pull it back to the road? Change on the wheels halfway on, halfway up, wouldn't it? No, on the other side? Yeah, go look on the outside. I mean, I would chain it and drive it. I just don't want to be responsible for it. I'm only covered if I hook it to the truck. Well, and the thing is, he, the way he's got it chained, 
Yeah. Right. Right. That side's just gonna spin. I mean, I've got some. I don't know if I got that small of chains, but. Twenty one hundred people, guys! Holy crap! This live is kicking it. Boy, he does got some chains on it. Well, somewhat. Dang! If I tow this thing, I'm gonna have to pull the drive line out of it and everything. Let's see. Yeah, I know it. The oil pans are pretty low on these. I'm so confused. What's plan? I don't know. Like we're trying to translate and figure it out. I like good stuff. Like what? Where's your I'm just waiting on them to. I, does he speak Spanish? Did you talk to him? I ain't talking. I got over here. I don't know. Time's money, though. We had to come over here. I am so confused right now. My buddy at J-Pro. So we teamed up with J-Pro today and they're handling the smaller stuff. I'm handling the bigger stuff. So he's over there talking to them now to figure out what we're going to do. That one guy keeps... Uh, Ron Pratt is in... Guys, we all watch Ron Pratt. We know he's the tow king. I watch a lot of his videos. He is a heck of a tow guy, though. Which one? <laughs> oh, dang. Got the rock lights on the wheels or whatever they call it. <laughs> no, I don't think this this truck don't belong here. I know, the, I know this company. This is not their truck. Yeah, Murphy's Towing's really good at towing. And I watch, uh, what's his name too? Uh, dang, my mind just went blank. Casey. Casey Liddell, I'll watch him. Are you on live? Are you still on your live? Everybody needs to go subscribe to Madville Motorsports. Madville. We're trying to get his channel going. His channel's doing pretty good without any help, though. Like, he's already got, like, some killer views. If you like, uh, like, you've been doing a lot of review stuff, tool testing, and getting ready to do an LS. Uh, we started building this shop, what, like, four years ago? Three years ago? Well, we started in February of 20. So, yeah, it's been four years next month. And then COVID hit. Put everything behind. It's hard to get materials, and then yeah, it's been one thing after another. But now the shop's about eighty percent done. So just trying to go ahead and dabble and stuff and start get some of these projects done. <laughs> yeah, I know. Fifteen. You got a lot of projects like me. I mean, you got you got one of my projects that we got to get to the house. Yes, sir. <laughs> I need that LS3. I bet it's a hot rod. So I'm selling Jason one of my LS3s. He's getting ready to build him a hot rod. Got oh, you're much, you're <laughs> more than Tim. You're going to blow, I'm telling you, I think your channel, the way you're doing it, it's going to blow mine out of the water and get it up and going. 
Dude, you're already doing good. Oh yeah, a lot of truckers. But there's also a lot of people lots what you do too. Yeah. I do. Guys, he just I think what he's wanting is just to pull this truck back to the highway. He don't want to drive down these slick roads. Probably ride on this cage a little bit. These yeah. things got a low oil pan. Uh Madville Motorsports is his channel name. M A D V I L L E Motorsports. Oh. oh man. We gotta be careful with this one, boys. I don't know what's up with this donkey. Everybody keeps saying that LTD is pretty sweet. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what are you doing? I got five minutes to make a decision. Okay. Uh, they called us out here, and now we're out here with a quote of the frost. And he's like, oh, I call you tomorrow. I said, no, you told us that today. So yeah. Have to pay for us Time's money, baby. Time is money. We can't be out here for free. We got other people to help. You guys, J Pro. Uh, they've got a heavy raker too, but they're waiting on a turbo for it, so. Are you gonna hook it up for this one? No, no, it's too heavy for this thing. I would like to have a medium dirty truck like this though. You can do a lot with this thing. Yeah. I want one of these and a, and a rollback and then yeah. I like that too small, so I know about all that big stuff. Uh, <laughs> dude, I don't know. I like having the big I mean I know you that thing money. it is big money. But you seen what kind of money it can make though. But yeah, it's a lot it's, oh, a lot of work involved in it too. There's bay log. That's a lot of that's a lot of big time work. Bet you that truck's turboed. You know? you, using your truck ain't easy. Let me talk bay log for a second. What are you doing, big time? Towing. Do you know him? Do you know him, though? Yeah. They're wanting me to tow it out to the road. Like, to the highway. I guess. I don't know. Was he? You, can you talk? I don't know. He got us out here, and now they don't want to pay the price, I guess. And then... No. But if he needs to go, I mean, we can tow him out there. It don't matter. But... What's this thing? Turbo? Supercharged? I figured it was something. It smells good. Oh, yeah. Dude, that sounds good. This is what I want to do to my GMC supercharger if I can. I need to go take the wipe on it. Okay. I can handle it from here. Uh, I'll learn it from you. Might put that, put that light on. Um, will it stick to the top of the ram? It's metal, I think. Because we're going, I'm like, I'm probably going to be towing all night. I'd like for him to have some lights. What is it? So they call boat down here? We're just teamed up. Oh. Oh. Their heavy's down, so they're using my heavy. Oh. Hey, we ain't, there ain't no competitors around here, baby. We're... <laughs> well, yeah, now. Friendly, Friendly city. We done had to deal with them today. <laughs> Well, guys, I don't want to keep you on here and keep you bored. Um, just want to give you a quick update. I will put a video out tomorrow as soon as this calms down a little bit. Uh, the weather should hopefully close up, and I'm hoping to get permits to get back up to uh, pick up my boat. 
Yeah. So I got to go get my boat and get it uh, delivered. And then I'm going to tow the rest of the night tonight, get some sleep. And hopefully this weather kind of clears up and goes away. Oh, y'all want to just stay? Well, I mean, y'all can stay if you want to stay. I won't end the live. I'm just, didn't want to keep y'all bored. Because I'm sure we're getting ready to do something. Oh. All right, well, we'll just hang out then. Shoot yeah, y'all make me feel good. I want to work for y'all. Come work for us. We like to hire people and work people. Dude, I'm about to freeze to death. Yeah, my toes are cold. I ain't been cold all day until about the last hour. I know. All right, we're staying, boys. Thanks, guys. That means a lot. So, pass on it. Do what? Now you gonna do it? Way too cheap anyway. Put him $775. Oh, Lord. Thank you. If they don't want to do it for that, that's. Yeah. Uh, Anybody else would be $1,000, 1500 two or three grand? They were charging $3,000 over there. On the other side of the hill. Yeah. We're, we're way cheaper than that. Yeah. Everybody on live is like, that's cheap. That's, that's way too cheap. Yeah, he's fully loaded. Oh, yeah. I'll just, you just come over to the shop. I can come over there and warm up a little bit. Is that where you're headed? Shop? Uh, I don't know. It's going to be a Okay. Baylog. I got a little street car I want to try out when you get it. I want to. Get some good weather. I got a little V8 in there already. Okay. You can stop up by there. It's got LSX 370. And shop. I'll stop up before we leave. I tried to get the head off. I couldn't figure out how to get it off. I had to call a Ford guy to know. You got to take the grounding pad off. And then you got to use a wrench and your studs to come down through the bottom of the head. And you got to take it outside. That's weird. Hey, uh, you a credit card or a check? Check would be fine. Yeah, I just came to the shop. I'm going to go up here and look at Baylog's car real quick, and then I'll be over. Unchained. I'll, I'll, I'll follow up there. Let's go look at this G8 up here in the shop. Yeah, it's... We're going to do some... Race against the Mustang. I know it. Ugh, Lord. G8's a bad ass. Yeah, I like the G8. I wish they would have been making it. Yeah, we put between the rear end and everything you can do with the nuts. CT, CTSB. He is, he is crazy. Fish tail. Oh, Lord. I'm telling you, calm down. <laughs> yeah, that's your yeah, that's my truck. Yeah, that's my work truck. Yeah. You got down here in the shop? Yeah, where do you go? I put that shackle up there. Yeah, it'd be right. Man, it's cold. It is freezing. Oh, Lord. Yeah, we've been out here all day. 
All right, guys, my phone shut off. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to go in here for a second and look at this car and let this phone charge. Oh, you guys want to hang out and comment for a few minutes, I'll be right back. And we'll, uh, we're going to chain this truck and see, see if we can find something else to do. I've got one more tow to do over in town. Uh, the guy in Oregon won the truck. I did talk to the guy that won the truck last night. Uh, we finally got a hold of him. It couldn't have been a better situation. The guy was actually, he's in need of the truck. Something just happened to his vehicle. Like it worked out. That's why I like doing these giveaways. But uh, yeah, give me just a few minutes guys. Get to get everybody back in here and then uh, we'll go do another tow.
boys. Let's go get finished. All right, we're back. Uh, shoot, what is this place called? Uh, it's a trucking company. Um, hell, Baylock's been here for years. I was talking to the boys. He said, yeah, I know what I was saying. I guess he seems to be a little live or something. He was watching it. He said, oh, yeah, I used to work down there. So I can't remember what he said. We're at 13. What is it like? Yeah, it's up like 2,000. Look at it, we got 1,000 locks. All right, guys, we gotta go look at another truck and uh, go pick up a check. Dude, for the last two days, this thing just about paid for itself. I get it now. Uh, he's got a G8 in there with a darn little LSX motor in it. Or he's putting LSX on the supercharger. That color, that's the color. Oh, yeah, that thing is beautiful. I like to have a truck and a car on that color. It's like candy brandy wine, something like that. All right, guys, we're going for a ride. You're Barry Hampson, my boy. I prefer the construction boys. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah, the guys, the the guy that won the truck really needed it and he deserved it. Like he was pretty much in tears when I when I talked to him. I mean, you got a hold of him? Yeah. That's good. He said he had just prayed on what to do about his because his I guess he had like a suburban or something that the rats got into and destroyed it. Um, he said, "Man, I was just praying on what to do," and then. Uh, you said on your live yesterday that the winner is from Oregon. He said, I went and checked my email, and there it was. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, man, because that's a nice truck, man. I love that, man. Truck. Yeah, dude, I love that truck, man. Uh, yeah, I, think, uh, that's, I love that, man. Truck. Hey, I went out there this morning with it negative three degrees. Hit the switch, and that sucker fired right up. I'm, I mean, there's no cold starting that truck. It's bittersweet. Yeah, I know. It's been a part of the family for a while. It's going to break your heart. I've had that truck for probably hell, two or three years. It's been. It might be. I've had it a long time. Yeah, yeah, I've had it since then. Yeah, I haven't been there for several years. Yep. Well, what's up with that guy back there? They, they didn't. He didn't. Uh, we we're going. He. Uh, what's his name? Told him we'd do it for seven hundred dollars or seven fifty. Hook it up. You know, we had to pull a drive line and everything out of it, and then yeah. haul it over here and put drive line back in it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it's just too much. <laughs> Which I would have just drove it over here. I just wouldn't be responsible for it. I don't care driving the snow. Where's he? I mean, where's he trying to go? To better roads. <laughs> Where did Jack not put it? I think he done it right over here. It is a, guys, it's a great blessing to be able to bless somebody like that. Dumb question, how do you tag people here in the comments? I'm not sure, I think you just put the at sign and then, uh, we're gonna ease over here to this other shop. I ain't gonna take the chains off yet.
I'm just going to ease. Ooh, Betsy. Uh, does anybody know what the weather's going to be like from uh, PA over to uh, Wisconsin? I was hoping to go get my truck tomorrow. I need to call them and let them know I need to spot them for another day or two. Now you guys said 25 to 35. Brax is in the Dodge behind us. Oh my God, they just tag gone. Guys, I ain't got time to watch the weather. Yeah, I pulled a full loaded semi on the interstate for this thing and it pulled really good. My clutch was slipping a little bit. I've not tuned it. When I tuned it, I didn't readjust the clutch. Yeah, we got good heat now. I appreciate it, FSC. That it's easier when we work together. I messed up one day and dropped. I'll try to wait till after Steve drops his videos before I drop mine or. Um, everybody wants to hear me sing. I, I can sing pretty good, but I'm shy. I'm shy. I don't know why. I can't do it. Our brother can sing really good, too. Right, this is the hill everybody keeps wrecking on. I love these chains, dude. Yeah, I'm surprised it doesn't run. We gotta go over here and get a check. Uh, no, over here to their shop, J Pros. No, I said I have to take it back to your shop. No, over here to their shop, J Pros. No, I said I have to take it back. Oh, yeah. I was gonna, I got one more truck over here next, um, next to Mayfield's. And if they hadn't got it out, I'm gonna go pull it out real quick. I guess I'll pull up here and take these chains off. I got one slab. Uh, me and FSC's getting ready to hang out here pretty quickly. He's coming down for uh, on their trip. He's gonna stop by and hang out. Last year we did quite a bit together. He was down for a whole week when the shop burnt. Come on, chain, stay on there for just a few more minutes. Yeah, so a few weeks, Steve will be down here. You're gonna have a dang roll back here in the next week or two, ain't you? I can guarantee you. Yeah, I'd like to have some. Ain't cheap. I'd like to find one that's been taken care of. Now, the rotator I'm wanting that's a glider, I'm telling you right now, that sucker is expensive. It's bigger than this, big as this truck. 
Oh, it's bigger than this truck. It's a 70 ton rotator. You got a steerable axle on it and all that. Auto chains, it's got, dude, it's decked, it's already got all the stuff in it. Like it's literally get it, put my tags, insurance, stickers on it, and go to work. I'll be able to load boats with it. I'll be able to do anything I want with this truck. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I told you, man, it's like a 35, 145, 150, 450, something like that. Flatbed and then a small, just a little regular, regular truck. I'm going to pull his chains off real quick. Yeah, I thought about taking the uh, auto chains off the fire truck and putting them on this. I definitely want auto chains on it now. This is my first snow experience with this truck, so um, it'd be nice just to be able to hit a button. But we got some updating to do on this truck. Um, I got new light bars for it. We just bought a bunch of stuff for it yesterday. We we're gonna put on it today, but it's been too busy to take off the road. Oh, okay. crap. Uh, uh, get in there. We got to pull these chains off. Get suppers. Get supper? Suburbs. Suggers? Suburbs. Subway. I caught Subway. I caught suburbs. Uh, yeah. I didn't eat today. Guys, the beanies are on the website. The new hats and the beanies are on the website. I think got heat. That would get hot.
Tony, you got bags in the back of your truck? I'm missing some bags, boy. You got those turning bags? Stay right there, in the back. Look, don't get them in the air. Don't get them in the air. Look at that. I thought you had just two of them sitting there. I think we, I thought we put them all over. Right. They might be in one of them other cabinets. I'm I'm not, I'm gonna try to get down open this morning. That bungee cord did. It's in a chain bag. Guys, I got salt. We got. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I thought you had one just sitting there with an owl bag. Uh, we left the bag. I don't know where the other one is. I think we had that one. Had a bag. Oh, you did have you did pull one of them out that didn't have a bag. Was that one you pulled out? We got another one. You want the shots on this? Yeah. It might be back the price of shit, I don't know. Uh, let's go. Right, just bring out another set. I'll throw it in here. Don't, don't get it tangled up. Because I'm not going to spin all night. Do we ever get this one untangled or no? No. We'll fix it when we get home. Yeah, we should call. Hey, don't have nothing. No coffee? No! In this store! Like this long. Where's all the bunnies go? Uh, yeah, we got the bunnies too. So we got oil dry in the truck now, we got salt in the truck now. We got, we got cones, I'll show you the cones. We bought new lights for the Dodge and our support vehicles. What are you talking to? We got cones now. Everybody's got PPE. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting it outfitted. There's still a lot left to go. It's, it takes a lot to outfit a truck. And that's why with the rotator, I want it completely outfitted. I don't want to have to... Uh, uh, do anything. I want to get it completely outfitted, already done. Alright. Well, I mean, to have a rotator around here don't really make a lot of sense. We've got that much work for just towing, like recovery towing and stuff. But with me doing the phone stuff, need the crane, the hoist that I was going to put up is 150 to 200 thousand dollars, and that truck will do everything the hoist is going to do. So that's really the only thing that justifies buying it. That and I can work for these boat companies around here lifting boats for them. I get calls for the crane just about every day, and I just. So hard to load it up and take it and all that stuff. Whew. Yeah, I think. You shake too much, boy. Man, that old KW right there is just sweet.
And the rotator I'm looking at is a glider. It's got a, a 6NZ cat in it with 18 speed. Rags want suburbs, he said. He calls it suburbs. Suburbs. Man, it's so cool you guys hang out with us and do all this stuff. Yeah, we broke a tug strap today. Let's see, I get a coffee, I guess. I wonder how that white chocolate one is. I'll try it. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> coffee's coffee at this point. I'll go heat it up on the exhaust. <laughs> I got this. No coffee? Man, could call it and I have no coffee. What'd you get? Body armor? You paying? I'm broke. You're broke. Yeah, I bet you are. That's, I taught you well, didn't I? Appreciate it. Yep. Hey, Barry, I'll get my coat. Monster. Drinks. Bonus. Thank you, sir. Yeah, have a good evening. Oh, my, it is cold. And I'm upset about no coffee. No coffee. Yeah, I'm going to get a gimbal, guys, that makes it easier. I just seen that comment. Oh, here's your drink, Brex. Y'all want a golly bum? I'll give you a golly bum. Golly bum. Let's get in this old rig and go down the road, boys. Golly. Man, y'all just got me golly bumming. Oh. Go pick us up a chick. Yeah, I know, dude. Oh, dang, I forgot about him. Ain't nobody alcohol charged to me, Hey, brother, we're... It's tow and recovery. We can recover kids, too. I just want to make a stop over here. I sent that northeastern or whatever that red tow truck was, south, north-south. Yeah. I sent him over there to do it. I said, hey... Since uh, I was like, just go over there and. You not go do it? I don't know. I ain't gonna be able to make this U turn right here. Can't wait for Madville Motorsport videos like these. Uh, this guy just did. Somebody on here. Yeah, one day when I'm as big as uh, Gentry, uh, I'm going to have to get my live. Uh, it just let me do it today. Today was the first time it let me do it. It called me yesterday, 24 hours. 
I don't know if it'll drift, guys. It's pretty long. I was drifting it yesterday, but in a straight line. <laughs> I forgot I ain't got no chains on. Huh? I think there is a median there. Oh, everybody stops. A U turn right in the middle of the road. This thing's got lockers in it, I forgot. Them lockers locked in, it's hard to turn around. How many gears is it? Ten. Back up to 2,000. Toe school. I'm hiding to motorsports. I'm having a bunch of videos up with the dang GoPros, dude. Give me a fit. I'm just going to go to this dude on the phone. I've ran a couple of different roads. I ran an FLD. Um, it was a Freightliner FLD. I think it was like a 50 ton rotator it's an old truck i got to run it for a little bit and then uh i ran a uh a 379 peterbilt with a um it was a 50 or 60 ton truck that's what i'm saying around here you know towing's different around here people just go for it they don't mess around you go out and learn. Get it done. Dude, I love their shop. The shop is wicked. There's their heavy rigger. I want to look at it real quick. Let's go check out this heavy rigger, boys. Gotta go for this coffee. Get some men or J. Yeah, that's how I got my experience. Um, that's how I got the first um, commercial experience on my CDL is running a, a tow truck. Yeah, the record straight popped. It's getting ready to get twin stacks put on it. Ooh, they got a Peterbilt in here. Heavy wrecker. Oh, it's a Kenworth. Ooh, dang. Big W900. Dude, I'm a little jealous now. That's sweet. No. I'd say that's 35 ton. 35 ton it's got it's built like it's triple framed and um it's got a bigger boom so i guess technically a 50. i don't know where the office is that is a nice rig Find them. I don't know 
Dang, we just got a $50 bonus, boys. $50 On the live. Hell yeah. Everybody say hi to J-Pro. Can I get commission on that? It's <laughs> 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 funny now. Should they see the, 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 the bus, we get out there. Oh, I'm, you're still alive. I yeah. Still story. All right, yeah, we don't be talking. Well, depends on how dirty it is. <laughs> Dang, boys, this place is nice. Dang. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> hey, how heavy is that record? Is it a 35? Is it a 35 ton? Yeah. Is it? What motor's in it? I'm thinking like how much is your way? C15? Yeah. Single turbo. Well, I got a good turbo to make it thing. Oh, really? Because that turbo. <laughs> That's exactly what, why it's not yeah. out there. I need to put an S410 SX on that thing. Mm. That's the best turbo for a cat. I'm talking like 1200. Yeah, 1200. That's a steel. No, it's a turbo. It's steel. I'm happy to have you. Add a little power to it, too, if you want to. Hey. She gets 600 fall in it and make her come to life. I don't want to do a whole lot because that thing, um, uh, the water, the water jackets. So when when your uh, your liners go down, that little lip around there, yeah, I'm, I'm that corrosion in it, or you run it wrong. Uh, oh yeah, uh, antifreeze in it. Email, it'd be great. So it's got me a little nervous. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean usually 550, 600 ain't a whole lot on them, and that turbo is pretty efficient. Fifteen speed. What is it? Red bird, red bird, red bird. Yeah. Red pond. See my? That's where I'm headed. It's Massonville. Oh. Okay. We can get it. How much for this tonight? I'm actively seeking another truck right now, so. <laughs> That's the only thing about these is that I don't. Yeah. 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 I'm looking at a rotator right now, but I'm looking at a rotator. There was a nice one, a red white one. Is that the one? Uh, yeah. 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 I look like a truck. Look like a good truck. Right? Oh, it's a, a good prize. A lot of moving parts on that sucker there. Yeah, there is. I'm supposed to go look at it next week and um, West uh, Greensboro. Yeah. Yeah. How much snow do we get? How many inches of snow do we get? Uh, we, got about, we got about seven inches here, but then it rained on top of it, so it condensed it down to like three inches of slush. Yeah, I've seen some pictures of like 10 inches, nine inches. Ten mile. 
Yeah, I think that's about what Tim Mom. Man, I like his truck. I wish we'd get that mask man. Don't ever get it. Now, you know, on your heavy, on your heavy, the other thing on the hook is free weight. So you can yeah. run lighter weight tags on it. The truck out there's only got 38,000 pounds. Oh, really? I didn't know that. So you run the weight of your record. You don't run the weight of everything you're hauling. I said you're going to run. Maybe not running a portion. I got a portion on that one. Hey, what are you charging for the transit, man? I don't like you're bringing it back to the dude. 200. Well, I said three, but. He said two. I don't care. I'll, I'll do it for 300. How about 250? <laughs> 250. I, I'm good with either one of them. Dude, Dude, 300. Yeah, I'm tired, too. I don't know the check. Hey, Tim, you got any more questions? Yeah, I got a couple. Uh, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Christmas movie? Yeah. yeah. No, you got there. You got there and send him. Tell him. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. You need to set a set of these. From the rear. Go straight to the frame under the axle. Boom. Done. Dang, I like. Where'd you get those at? Uh, he got them at the uh, tow show down there in Chattanooga. Oh. You can get them anywhere, but they're not cheap. It's this hook right here. It's expensive. But one, two, done. No, no more 20 foot chains. That other truck I'm looking at is fully outfitted. Oh, is it? Yeah. Which that one's not. I'm still outfitting that truck. Yeah. The amount of stuff you have to do, though, to outfit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and every time you go out, you realize you need something. Different. You need something, something different. Way I've been doing it, it's each call I get. Just every time, just add a little bit more, a little bit more. I, yeah, I really like it. Lightsaber in this one. I don't know what controls you got or how this one's really set up. Having a remote that you can walk with. Oh, yeah, that's. And laying under trucks to put your underlift yep. together. Oh, my. Mine's got the remote for the underlift, but it's wired. It ain't. Oh, okay. See, I'd planned on taking it down and having all that, all. The remote hydraulics and stuff put on it mm -hmm. but now that i'm looking for another truck that's going to be like my you home know truck. yeah home truck you know new driver truck yeah. stuff like that and then have the new truck for this one's uh which th that one that i'm looking at is a glider with a it's got okay. a cat in it and 18 okay. speed good deal but i do a lot of crane stuff like lifting and stuff mm -hmm. so i really need a rotator And there just ain't many rotators around here. Is until you get to Chattanooga. Yeah. Couple of Knoxville. This is all you see around here. This is a nice truck, man. I like it. It's fun. It gets the job done. Well, I appreciate y'all giving me all the work tonight. We appreciate you helping us. Man, I've had a good time. Back in touch with you guys. Do some more work. We'll yeah. Fun today. Yeah, definitely. Lake Circle. There's your phone. Here's my phone. It's a nice little chunk for a few hours worth of work. Hey, dude. You see the chains on frame, frame chains? Yeah. They're good because they don't tip load the chain. All right. So they got so on your frame rails, you know, your frame rails like this. If you got a if you got a five inch chain, the hook will bury in there, right. and your and your hooks are not stable. So if you have that one, it's got this. Machined out square. It just rides it perfect. Don't budge. Don't swing around it. I do like, I like the way you got this thing set up. That's been a pretty good old truck. I, mean, I like that. It's not a whole lot of electronics, a lot of BS. Dang. You know where I could order that chain? Miller, mate. Is it a Miller? Seven hundred eighty bucks. Chattanooga Toe shows where I buy all my stuff because then you don't have to pay shipping. Right. Look at Chattanooga Toe show. 
Man, next time, I can't wait to the next tow show. I ain't got to ever go to one. I want to go to one now. It's nice. Kids love it, too. I mean, they got few trucks in there. Yeah. All right, well, I guess I'll go take care of that van, brother. I appreciate it. All right, appreciate Thank you. Thank you, by the way. Yep, nice to meet hey, you, Jim. appreciate you. Yep. You take care. Sure we'll be doing some more stuff together. Yep. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, if anything else comes up, holler at me. I'll be available. <laughs> I probably will just leave his dang truck down here tonight. <laughs> oh, Lord. Tim, do you know it's against the law to run your strobes not towing a vehicle? I own the law, baby. When I become president, I'm going to make it not the law. Bro, we have broken the law twice tonight. Um, turned around the middle of the road, and we're running our strobes with that vehicle on tow. We're on right track. We are. That's how we do it in Lampy. Um, We got to go pull the van out or something. Train the van, red bus. Which I think that's right there next to the three Alright, I got a let's see, six to eight and twenty four. No, he paid me three hundred. I, I told him I did two fifty. You give me your money? Yeah. No, he told you three hundred first. No. Oh. I he, said I'd do it too. He the door. He said I'll give you 300 if you go do this. The other guy is the one that started hacking. <laughs> he just does for a time tow or what? Yeah, I think so. Oh, in gear, baby. definitely worth it. Oh, if I become president, guys, Rooster, and I will have a trucking company on the White House lawn. Boy, can you imagine the haters in? Oh, Lord. Doing donuts around the Oval Office. Yeah, we'll have a track. We'll have everything. Well, they got the roads cleaned up a little bit. Oh, I know. This is nasty on the way out here. Guys, we love everybody. The haters and the I mean, we got haters. That's just all. Everybody's gonna have haters in life. I mean, if I was sitting at home, miserable in my mom's basement, and wishing I had the gumption to go out and do something about what I'm griping about, I mean, just think of how miserable that life is instead of just being happy. So I told him last night. I was like, guys, if why are you sitting here telling me how to do my job? When I'm sitting here trying to learn, do something new, teach my kids, you know, life lessons. If you, you know, if you really had the, go out and do it yourself. Yep. Why ain't you out in your own tow truck? You gotta have the drive, the determination. And... Why am I here towing this truck when you should be here doing it if you're such a good. So that's the way I look at it. Just like to ruffle people's feathers, on, yeah. Just to see the reaction.
right, guys, let's go. Let's get up to 2,000 likes. That would be awesome. Yeah, guys, I mean, just think about it. We bought this truck, what, four months ago? Brought it in, completely tore it down, repainted it, fixed everything on it. Now we're out here working it. I mean, I couldn't afford to go out and buy a brand new one when I did. I mean, yeah, I may have done it a little bit different. I could, but, you know, I, I wanted to work up to a rotator, and that's my goal now, is to get a rotator. This truck has paid for itself since day one, and I don't push this truck hard. I mean, I'm just now getting it all outfitted and getting, you know, it's completely, uh, it's tagged insured and all that stuff now. It's got stickers are coming for it. Rob's gonna finish up the grill and all that stuff. So now all we like on it is getting, uh, I'm gonna put a driver in this one, then I'm gonna get me a rotator to run drive it for a little while we'll put a driver in that we'll just start working it up just like we did at the trucking company start at the bottom and build it up yep the rotator i'm looking at is four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. but to go buy a nice one that's ready to go ready to re which this one's all outfitted and everything Double, yeah it's seven hundred thousand dollars eight hundred thousand so i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna go get it and fix it up and get it the way I want it and then drive it and dang this stuff's rough that honestly no joke man when it's been piled up just the fact to even be able to talk about going and buying something like that truck stay in your lane Damn. this truck is not paid for it's it's it it done good i ain't gonna say that it didn't do good this weekend or this last two or three days um if i had another uh i don't know probably i'd say if we had five more nights like this right here to be paid for like it, I, my money would be back i've got like ninety thousand dollars in this truck and it made 20 in the last two days yeah i mean it should we get some more weather like this we definitely and now look we got all these videos and we can get now we can we got it on Google now. We got it officially, you know, we're officially in business. Good. What you do, put it on top of Google? Yeah. Yeah, we just now got it on Google Ads. and um, I just wanted to make sure that I was prepared before it. Yeah, I wanted to really make sure the truck was ready and outfitted. And no, I'd like to give me a couple, do the same thing, but this is smaller. Dude, a rollback does good. Well, I, I, you know, I'm about to get a driver or two, too. Same thing. You know, somebody, somebody's got experience with it, and I'll fit the bill, and I want to do it some, and then, um, then I want to get somebody that's running like 24-7 on call. If you would have ever told me this truck could make $20,000 in two days, I would have been like, ain't no way. You couldn't do enough work, but it, I mean, you seen just like, well, just, Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If that was straight your jobs. Oh yeah. You would have made that oh yeah. Thing, so. Well, roads are back to nasty. Yeah. Which with that deal there, they got to make some money. We got to make right. some money. Yeah, yeah. It was a, it was a we supported yeah. two businesses was supported by today and um, help each other out. Which I pretty much let everybody name their own price. Usually I say, what do you think's a fair price? And then, you know, they've already got a number in their head. They spit the number out, and usually it's higher than what I would have said. What's, wrong, like, what's wrong with their big truck? Uh, turbo. That's it? Yeah, turbo went out. 
Which ain't many people got their tow trucks out today in this. Yeah. Come on, Drew, get back in here and deal. I think this stuff is like hard as a rock. Yeah. Well, at least it's dropping. Yeah. Come on, Drew, get over here. Them big tires on the front of it makes it. Yeah, winter's just getting started, guys. So I'm either gonna send Bryce or Dad. I don't know who I'm gonna send first, but I'm sending two guys to tow school. Just because I don't have time to train them. And there's a lot of stuff I need to learn too. You know, I'd rather them go to a professional somewhere that's there to train them. I might send them to that Miller school. Um, so they actually get hands-on experience, get to work different trucks, heavy, small trucks, big trucks. Um, you know, Bryce is somebody who'd probably be with me forever, I feel like. They just bought a house down here, finally, and... Yeah, that's uh, good. That's good. Got that. Told me yeah. You know, he's really stepped his game up, and um, he's doing a good job. He's somebody that I can rely on. And then, uh, Dad, you know, of course, Dad's going to have... Which Dad can tow already you know he uh, he's somebody i can say hey go tow this truck and not worry about it just send him he's like me he can do pretty much whatever yeah, he's been the block a few times. yeah. i mean i don't i don't think i've ever seen anything dad couldn't do if he can't do it he'll figure it out real quick <laughs> yeah he's pretty good with me. yeah where's my dad with you? that's not good with him Hey, Dad, he'd do about whatever. He'll grab about it, but he'll do it. Yeah, my dad just let his stuff like that, man. He's, I don't know, man. My dad's kind of got calmed down. You know, he used to really be into stuff. Now he's kind of calmed down. He's backed off a little bit because you Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, you take the lead. Yeah, he pretty he's much just... But anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna send uh, send a couple guys down to tow school, let them learn safety and rig in all that good stuff. That way, I can keep this thing going full time. And I'm I've put out a looking for a full time operator for this truck. To be regular drivers, you got right now. Like twelve, I think. We got 20 total employees. And then, let's see, well, I just hired Waddy back at 13 drivers. Yeah, guys, I watch Ron Pratt's videos all the time. I watch, you know, there's actually something I learned off his channel the other day. I was getting ready to go do a tow, and I was like, dang, how do I do that? And then the guy I got this tow truck from, the grandson, He's become a pretty good friend of mine. Like we talk pretty much daily and he's going to come over and do my first rollover with me, you know, as me as the owner. I wanted to go do that rollover today in uh, ball play and Keith went down in. Pretty sure Keith went. That salt truck that flipped over. Yeah. I thought uh, who was there earlier that showed us those pictures? Um somebody showed a picture earlier of the top play. Oh, a toy. No, yeah, Matoy. Matoy dude, he made pretty good money. He was out towing all week or last two days. That's crazy. But his Dodge pickup just yeah. pulling stuff out. Yeah. They've been working on that part of the 
afraid to put school out and everything the rest of the week. I'm so. Yeah. Think we should take this, get that transit van out, or go get one of the trucks? Uh, I mean, I mean, this ain't double kill, but I mean, I know how to get it done. In it. Yeah. Is that is a Massonville? Yeah, red. Bud, can you give me the address? Yeah, right here's the address. Red bud. Is uh, yeah, nine fifty five Laurel Lake Circle. I'll put it in my phone. Laurel Lake, yeah, ain't that up there off Red Bud Lane? Laurel Lake is like up there in that uh, ooh, see if it ain't up towards Teleco. Here's Sweetwater Hill, guys. This thing, when I when I first got it, it went climb this hill at 30 mile an hour with uh, um, empty. Now you can just leave it in the big hole and just go right up it. Is that where it's at? I don't know if we get this up there. Laurel Lake is like... Yeah, we got a tow to go do, guys. take this or not yeah. this guy says uh, this guy videos and reads comments while driving come on brother Stop being a hater. I mean, would you rather be sitting at home not doing nothing? You're, you're actually getting to hang out and um, get to hang out and work. Yeah, I'm, I got the hands-free camera mount on my head, but Siri, read the comments to me, please. Does that make you feel better? Now we're safe. I always that one hater. Guys, we got $89 in here tonight. I really appreciate that. Yeah, we're driving the heavy record. I mean, we could take this truck up there, but I don't know if it'll fit. There is a winner for the truck. I'll be announcing it on tomorrow's video. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Lord. Alright, let's just take this thing and try it. I bet that guy when we pull up is going to be like, what the heck? I can't afford this. <laughs> yeah, I'd buy you a beer, brother. We might be going on sick week. If I can get the cage in the Mustang by then, we're going to sick week. The red Mustang needs more cage in it. It's just too fast for... I mean, it's a five-second car. It needs... It's only got a cage in it. We're headed on a tow, guys. We got to go over here and pick it, get a transit van. Yeah, the little red, the little red Mustang's a lot faster than what you'd think it'd be. To be a full, you know, full interior, full blown car, it's. Yeah, if you don't like the live, guys, you don't have to be here. I'll get you a video. If you like, if you're more of a video person, I'll get you a video out tomorrow. But I mean, what the heck? Yeah, we're up to 1,500 likes. Let's see where Drew commented. Oh, dude, they just got to hate. Can you imagine living and being that miserable in life? Yeah. Oh, that would be miserable. I like for everybody to be happy, including myself. Dude said transit can with that thing is going to look like a monkey. <laughs> I haven't like I've I've drove a modified and on dirt track. I've drove the four cylinders on dirt track, but I've not ever like you know, it's just here and there like a buddy of mine's got a car, I go down and drive it and then uh I raced a modified for a little bit. Did some practicing with it and stuff like that. I couldn't afford it. That's expensive racing. I tried to. Uh, I drove a uh, um, the what is the fast dirt track cars? Uh, my mind is going blank. Late model. Late model. I drove one of them one time, two laps around the track, and it scared the crap out of me. And, uh, it, yeah, one day, what's his name? Uh, Tim, uh, 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 shit. Richmond, no. Uh, shit. He's big up here in Smoky Mountain. Too. Oh, yeah. Have you talked to Cletus lately? Yeah, yesterday, probably. I'm getting ready to go to Florida and see them guys, actually. And my merch is down there, too. Getting ready to start. He's helping me with some merch stuff. Uh, Cletus has got some fast cars. I don't think our, I... We're going to race the little red fox body, I guess, it's F-150. Um, and when the white Mustang's done, I mean, I'm, it's going to be fast. It will be a caliber of a car is like, you know, it'll be a six second car and a quarter. 
I don't know if it'll go that fast, but that's what we're building it to handle. When are you going to have it back? Um, he's like weeks away from being done with it. <coughs> he sent me pictures earlier. They just finished the front end. But, I mean, it's got everything. I mean, we put a – it's got – Tune them all. Who's got it? Uh, it's down at a chassis shop in Florida. But, I mean, it's a full-blown race car now. This guy says 20,000. Come on now, everyone would be doing it. Laugh out loud, this guy's funny. Buddy, I just made, I just made $3,000 in like what? Hour or two? Wow. Had fun doing it. That was just, just this afternoon. This truck ain't shut off in two days. And then we split the money. Yeah, we split the money on that it. That was all yours. Yeah. The reason everybody ain't doing it is because it's a lot of work. I've been up for two days running this truck and there's a lot of work that goes into it. A lot of people ain't into a lot of work. Most people won't go out and work like that. So that's probably the reason why everybody ain't doing it. You're on call 24 seven, you're responsible for some expensive stuff. You gotta have the balls to do it for one. Go be willing to go get the insurance and put up your you know your financials to do this so yeah that's why everybody ain't doing it success is not made for everybody no Toe last night paid like 6,500 bucks. From Knoxville to uh, um, Green Bay. I towed a guy's truck and trailer back for him. And he named a price. Like, I didn't even, he called me at like midnight. I get about midnight and but dude, it was solid ice, I'm talking about. I mean, the interstate was pretty clear from the split back, but. Yeah, don't break down your semi, it ain't cheap. But I am the kind of guy that if somebody's having a bad day, I will help them. Yeah, I know uh, one of my buddies has done a rollover a couple weeks ago and it was like a $30,000 bill. Robert Borchard, thank you brother for the $50. That is awesome. Uh, we're almost there. What are we with? Uh, two and a half miles. Two and a half? Yeah. About five miles total. We gotta turn into it. We gotta turn on Bethlehem. Yeah, guys, we got some lights for this thing now. And it is going to light up like crazy. We got work lights, strobe lights. Rob's going to do the grill. See for 100 foot anywhere around the truck. A couple hundred foot. 
Yeah, it's, we should be able to see anything. FSC still here, boys. Uh, we haven't delivered a sailboat yet. I definitely don't want to tell the haters how much that thing paid. They'd really fall over. <laughs> they would never believe that. Jeez. Wait till the last second. Kick the blinker on. There goes Joe Bennett. God, that's such a nice truck. Oh, dude, he got a nice Peter Bitch for sale. He's selling it. He got a Mack dump trailer that comes with it. Super nice truck. I bet he just come across Coke Creek Mountain. But he's a good driver, though. Yeah, his hauls feed and stuff for that end up. We gotta turn up the hill. Is yeah, that? Up that yep. Probably so. Easy, Bessie. This is ice. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, these back roads ain't been touched. Been a good for a rollback or something. A little tow truck. It's all out. Says it's seventeen degrees. So my watch says. So that means whatever liquid is turning to ice. Yeah. Left 
uh, Street. We're going to turn left on Laurel Branch and a little over half a mile. Yeah, see, they, I mean, it's, there's no snow hardly back here. No. There's ice on the it's roads. But, that's it. No yeah. There's no, that's crazy, dude. Hell, at the house, we got, I mean, we got a few inches, two or three inches, but ain't nothing back here. Uh, I think it's one of them like Mercedes style yeah. transits. We're in the dark. We're in the woods, boys. <laughs> yeah. Ain't, ain't a whole lot of room for this big old truck. No. Stay right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, solid ice. ice. Yeah, that's solid ice. It's right next to the lake. Is it? Yeah. Left right here? Yeah, yeah. Fifteen people, sixteen hundred and eighty one likes. Dang. Anybody we still gonna see? Yeah, everybody get them locks up. There's only sixteen eighty three. We're going to a place that's much smaller than this truck. Pin turn. Yeah, this truck is, uh, way bigger than the job we're going to, but we're doing it to help somebody out, so hopefully we'll be all right. Waddy Morgan, PR, H. Dang, dude. 
That's tight. Hello. Ah, oh, no, I really appreciate it. <laughs> I owe you one. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. All right, see. You got Gage home for me. Get him home? Yeah. I'm gonna lock the axle in and just go for it, I guess. Think they're gonna go or we're not? I think you're good. I keep getting off the road over here. It's gonna be close. Come on, stay on the road, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your axle? Yeah, it sounded like it. How about it just breaking axle? Nah, I think you did. Seventeen seventy-six likes. That's a good number. Hey, look at this ice. Yeah, it's. They didn't get much snow, but it's definitely froze. Yeah, I hope we can get turned around up here too. So this ad this address uh if you fit through that? Yeah. I think. I'm going to look out. Yeah. Because it says we take a left right here on Laurel Lake and it's supposed to be literally right there. So this dude can't be far from right Let's here. Let's go talk to the guard check. Alright. Uh -huh. Right there's somebody. Um, that looks like a camper, not no transit. That's a camper. Yeah, I mean it's similar to one of those. Yeah, going back out the hills when it skates. It is. I think if you got everything locked, we might be okay. I mean, what we've been through today. What did you say? That was, uh, now it's at 1801. 955 Laurel Lake. Really? Yeah, we got a big old truck. Take your time, okay? When you get through there, you'll come over to the... So the live is bouncing around a little bit because we're trying to lose signal a little bit, but it keep, it's back on. But yeah, guys, if uh, y'all are having some issues, it's us because we're so far up in the mountains. I'll stand out here and watch you. Hey guys, if uh, if we do lose service, it won't be for long. So we'll be right back shortly if we do. Sorry about the bright lights. You're good. Keep it coming. Oh, 
Oh yeah. That's a top fit. No shit. That's the top fit. Yeah. Is it not coming back up? This is where I'm wondering right here. See, it's off velocity. Yeah, there's a connection, but I told everybody if we lost it, we would, we'd be back in a few minutes. Regulator might be stuck. See, it said it's supposed to be right around through here. What what number mailbox is that? Does they have mailboxes back here? Uh, they should. Right there's the lake, so. What's this blue sign up here say? Nine. Does it say number? <clears throat> 51. He said 955. So, one, two, there's four. See the blue signs on through there? There's 51. So, we got to go four more. So, it might be a good ways down this road. But, truck's so big, I just back down. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get turned around. That's 951, dude. So there's 952 or 3. There ain't no lights back here at all. <clears throat> yeah, does that say 47? Hold up. That's the wrong way. 955 is what the paper says. That says 947. It's going down. The numbers are going down now. Yeah, see, look. This is where we're standing. That's where it says that it's at. So where that lady's house is or it's on the other side. Where's the... Uh, it says off Red Bud Lane, which Red Bud Lane is back here, but this, I don't think it's Red Bud Lane. Sorry guys, we're, uh, we're trying to find this location where this huh. transit van's stuck. Maybe, Bet you there ain't never been a heavy wreck right here before. <laughs> I guarantee it. Whew, it's cold. It is. It's got like it's like ten degrees out here. I do too. But my my hands. And beat out. I took my gloves off. I got to put my gloves back on. What is that one? This huh? is nine. I don't know. There was a lady. That says two o three. Said Red Bud Lane. Red Bud Lane is dry. Here, hold your phone for a second. Red Bud Lane's right here. What in the heck is going on here? I've got some sort of air leak showed up. Oh. I don't know if it froze up or what it's doing.
All right, guys, I got forgot this air leak. Dang. Well, it's going away. I think we just 